the new uh, Shorelands Casino in the city of Peterborough, on the edge of the city of Peterborough, has opened. Uh, by all accounts, it looks like it's uh, successful. The new hotel's being uh, built right beside it. Um, the item in the news, though, is the Quartha Downs site. The, there was a promise made by the provincial <laughs> premier to keep something open, well, and it's not yet open. What's happening? This as, is as a we very speak. interesting one because it seems to me. You know, one of the things with Casino, I was certainly for bringing it here, and there are many examples uh, and reasons why, but one of my reservations is whether there are too many casinos mm. in the province. Oh, and I guarantee you the one at, at Court the Downs is the one too many. Like, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I respect and I, I want everyone to keep their jobs, but, but from Shoreline's perspective, why would you ever want to keep well, the machines you, at Port Why would you split it? Yeah, yeah, why would you split your customer base no, and not have them going that back That whole thing was a, uh, I mean, that, I mean, not only did they do it, you know, Premier Ford made the announcement and Laurie Scott came in and said, isn't this wonderful? We've saved harness racing mm -hmm. in Ontario. And that was just such an overblown claim. <laughs> I mean, they've been saying it all along, but it's just complete... And, well, I tell you and, you know, and, and I know it, what the, you the mean. whole thing was incredibly nebulous. No one knew exactly what was going to happen, and that's that's what you see now. Two weeks after it, it was saved, right. the, the save date rolled around, and it's still closed. And 150 slots, it's 50, 50 can't, slots. How can they, they? That can't work when people can go down the road to a much bigger, no. nicer establishment. No. And I, one that OLG is probably pushing for its customers yeah. to go to over. Yeah. Well, because they, pro they promised, uh, and we've read that the city will be getting $6 million a year, whereas the other, uh, the slots, the prior Two slots paid. Three, eight, something like that. Yeah, it was somewhat less yeah. than that. I, I remember it would, there'd be quarterly payments of somewhere under a uh, million dollars. They, they yeah. got about 3.4 yeah. million total. Yeah. And the city's getting 6 million. You right. know, the, and the thing that I think got overlooked, unfortunately, as well, all those, the, the workers, who didn't get jobs, you know, I think that was, like, they didn't work for OLG. They didn't work, they didn't, or rather, they did, and they wouldn't, the, the company that took over the slots from the old guys, they, everybody who worked for Kawartha Slots got pulled over. Those people were food servers who worked for the racetrack. And they're, no. they're still getting paid and, and, and cleaning and, the place and up. They apparently. said, yeah. apply for your jobs. We're going to have the same jobs here. Apply for them. We just can't guarantee you a job. You're somebody who didn't work for us before. Mm -hmm. you know. And, and there were some, I thought, reasonable reasons. They said, why well, we just can't all of a sudden hire a bunch of people that didn't work for us before en masse. Uh, more was made of that than probably should have well, been. I, I don't know why. Well, let's. Uh, the, if, if those they're people, unionized. I mean, that is, well, that's is that part of an it, issue. Yeah. I mean, I'm assuming that's a big issue. Yeah. So, yeah, it's so a, uh, but I think the province has got itself into trouble on this one. Yeah. I, they didn't the you think the province was making Ajax. deals that they shouldn't have been making? Well, I don't think they looked into it. I think it's in Laurie Scott's writing. They needed she, to do something. She's a minister. And somebody yeah. who's a minister and somebody said, well, we'll give them 50 slots and keep it open. Without the implications. In fact, she's Minister of Labor. So, yeah. so <laughs> it's kind of you know, yeah. and yeah. then, you know, uh, the mayor of Cavan was able to call the Premier and say what a good job he'd done to keep it open. Well, what a good I, job I've done. Vote for me. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. That, right. that would be an interesting it, one it to watch play. I think that's yeah. how that plays out. I think what the province has done is they've, uh, as sad as it is to say for all those jobs, but they've just delayed the inevitable. Mm -hmm.